So if you love music like I do, you might have been to Baker's Keyboard Lounge in Detroit. But if you haven't, it's a gem with a rich history that dates back nearly 90 years and everyone who's anyone has played there. This type of love and respect between listener and musician built what Baker's is today. The soothing sounds of a saxophone playing relaxing jazz music greets guests at Detroit's Baker's Keyboard Lounge. The iconic keyboard bar welcomes guests at the same time. Uh, this place started back in 1934. Um, with uh, Fannie Mae and Clarence Baker. This designated historic Detroit landmark and world's oldest jazz club has welcomed some of the finest musicians from all over. The walls littered with big names who have played here. Right here on this stage, and uh, Nat King Cole would come in and sit in and hear the band on, on stage, and they would just join in and come sing. Oh, Aretha Franklin, uh, again, she is a legend, uh, an iconic uh, voice in history. Uh, 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 she has played here, she's recorded here with James Carter. The doors first opened in 1934 as a sandwich shop. Music was added later. It is a hot spot for any and everyone who loves good music. Uh, there was a line to get in the door. You had to audition to get in. Um, so packed, uh, so crowded, uh, very busy. Arguably, we have the best food in town. It is a food for the soul, of course. Um, uh, we call it soul food. Hugh Smith now owns Baker's Keyboard Lounge. The original owners passed away. He spent the past 10 years working here and has seen it all. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the historic Baker's Keyboard Lounge. For him, Black History Month is not only important, but Baker's Keyboard Lounge is black history in Detroit. I believe it's important to highlight some of those contributions um, of, of black people to um, the history of this country. Baker's has been through depressions. Mm -hmm. It has been through political scandals. It has been through wars. It has been through a bevy of issues and problems. COVID is just another one. Mm -hmm. Baker's has survived them all. Mm -hmm. And I just want people to know that we will still stand strong. We will still survive. Survive and continue to make history with the big names who grace this stage. And Baker's is happy to reopen now with some restrictions in place. They are looking forward to announcing new local and national acts in the future. I'm certainly excited to, to hear who they will be bringing to the stage. Absolutely. It's such a great gem. Been there yes. many times. It's just a wonderful part of the history of the music in Detroit.